When I was little, my father was famous. He was the greatest samurai in the empire. He cut off the heads of 131 lords. Hey everybody, Jerry Williams, aka Greater Sapien here. Thanks for stopping by. Today we look at number 82 of Eric Dubay's 200 Proofs, Earth is Not a Spinning Ball. Dubay says, The Port Nicholson Light in New Zealand is 420 feet above sea level and visible from 35 miles away, where it should be 220 feet below the horizon. Now, my first assumption was that I would just repeat the last explanation about the nominal range and Dubay being an idiot and reading the light list wrong, but to my surprise, when I went to look up this lighthouse, there was no Port Nicholson in New Zealand. There used to be a Port Nicholson, but it was renamed Wellington Harbor back in 1839. So I'm thinking, where did Dubay get a claim that is based on information that is laughably out of date? And then something hits me. Go back and check Zetetic Astronomy, that book by that hack Robotham which I had downloaded years ago. And bingo, there it is on page 172. Eric Dubay just lifted word for word what this man wrote in, when was this? 1865. Wait, 1865? But Port Nicholson was renamed in 1839. So even when Robotham published his claim, the info was already 26 years out of date. And Dubay just repeats it. And you flat earth morons just buy it. But it doesn't end there. Have any of you noticed that at the top of this page is the Dunkirk light claim from 81? Remember how I was wondering where Dubay got his info? It was this. And check this out. Robotham correctly places Dunkirk in northern France. Dubay couldn't even copy that correctly and called it southern France in the last claim. So, hold on a second. Let me check something. Yeah, proof number 83, the ghetto light in Norway is 154 feet above high water. Let me check on that. That does still exist, by the way. And yes, it's here on page 171. Number 84, the light at Madras on the Esplanade does not exist, and the city was renamed Chennai in 1996. And yes, he copied that from page 172. Number 85, Cordonan Light on the west coast of France. Yep, that's still around. But funny thing about that one is Robotham spelled the name of the lighthouse wrong. There's no middle N, and that's supposed to be a U, and it's probably pronounced Cordouin. But Dubay, hack that he is, just copied it and didn't bother to check on the actual name of the lighthouse. Number 86, the light at Cape Bonavista, Newfoundland. Yep, right there on page 172. Now, this lighthouse hasn't been in operation since 1962. Just further proof that Dubay and his fanboys aren't even trying to research their claims. Okay, that seems to be all the ones that were lifted directly from this garbage Robotham book, so I'll stop there. I guess I'll have to rename this video's title to Proofs 82 through 86. Well, flat boys, if you bother to research, you'll find some of these lighthouses haven't existed for decades and you people didn't even bother to check. So all of those can be ignored and the remaining ones have exactly the same problem as 81. The range listed is the nominal range, not the geographical range. The nominal range is the unobstructed line of sight range on a clear day and is based solely on the luminosity of the light. The brighter the light, the greater the nominal range. The geographical range is wholly different. Either Dubay knows that and just doesn't care, or he's ignorant and too lazy to learn. Flat boys, which are you? Anyway, 
See you next time. No one on this planet to even challenge me. Maybe you came by to congratulate me on last night's victory.